So my good buddy Matt is of the Calvinist denomination, or one of them, and he was trying to explain to me about predestination. He was saying how, you know, that God either predestines you to heaven and he predestines some people to hell. And that's just the way it is and there's nothing we can do about it. He went on to explain with a story about how uh, his good friend married a girl. She was Christian. She'd given her life to Jesus. And they were married for a few years. The marriage was getting a little bit cold and a little bit stale. And she ended up cheating on her husband. She ended up leaving the church and leaving Christianity and became an atheist even. And he was saying how, you know, she wasn't predestined. You know, she wasn't truly saved when she gave her life to Jesus. And I said, you know, how do you know this? How can you know? And he said, well, we don't know. And I said, well, what if she comes back and she returns to Christ and gives her full heart to Jesus then? I mean, how do we know? Is she saved then? He said, well, we don't know. And I, and I said, you're right. We don't know and we can't know. And so the idea of predestination, it has no real life practical implications because we don't know and we can't know whether someone's predestined or not. So whether you believe in it or not, it's irrelevant. It's a nice idea, but it doesn't really matter because as biblical Christians, we do know that we have to live the gospel boldly. We have to be proactive. We can't just be passive. We can't just say, I'm saved, I'm good. You know, we got to live our faith. We got to act it every day. It's not about earning our salvation. We're not saved by good works alone, but we do got to be proactive. We can't just be passive and we have to live the gospel boldly. We know we have to labor, we have to toil, we have to run the race to win, we have to fight the good fight, we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling, and we have to be bold and courageous witnesses in a world that is needing Jesus Christ and His love and His mercy even more than ever before. So live the gospel boldly, be a saint. God bless you guys, peace out.